<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how you can use the dual analog sticks on your PSP games if you have a PlayStation Vita, a Vita TV, or a PlayStation TV, and you have Adrenaline set up on it. So first of all, this tutorial is going to require that you do two things. It will require that you've seen my tutorial on how to set up your Vita and modify it if you have firmware 3.68 or lower. And second, it's going to require that you have watched the tutorial on how to set up Adrenaline as well, which again is the PSP emulator. If you've done both of those, then you should be good to go. The next thing we're going to need is of course we'll need our Vita, the understanding of how to use it, how to transfer files over to it, and we're going to need a few magical files here which I'm going to show you how to download on the PC. So I'll actually be showing you with two options here. The first one, I'm going to have a link down below in the description to the official Flows GitHub for remastered controls. Now, this is not all games. This is only a select amount of games that he develops these patches for. And big thank you to the Flow for these. But as you can see right here, this is his collection that he's made. And so far, there's both Grand Theft Auto games, a couple Tomb Raider games, a couple Prince of Persia games, uh, both versions of Kingdom Hearts, as well as both Metal Gear Solid games that are on here. So first of all, in order to do this, you need to pick what game you want to do this with. I'm going to be demonstrating this with Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, which I already have transferred over to my console. So this is what you need to do. You need to click what game you want to do this with. And when you click there, you need to download the PRX file. So this one has actually been updated, so I'm going to use GTA Remastered V2 and download this to your PC. So now here where you have your remastered plugin, this is what you need to do. I'd recommend get the entire name and copy it. So that way you're not going to mess it up. Now right click, new, create a new text document and call it game. .txt. That's all it needs to be. When you open up the file, all you need to do is paste the entire name in there. And at the beginning, you need to type in ms0 colon forward slash se plugins forward slash. And at the very end, space one. That's going to mean that here on your memory card, you have the plugin right here and it has been enabled. If you want to do multiple plugins, for example, all you need to do is you just need to do the same thing here. So I'm actually, I'll copy paste this for an example. If I'm going to do like the original one, it would be something like that. Just make a separate line for each one. Make sure everything is spelled out as such and make sure that there is a one at the end of this. However, I'm only going to put one plugin on here so now you can save that and exit out of your text file. Now next up you need to choose how you're going to transfer your files over. I'm going to be using FTP. So for this you need to go into your memory card, UX0. You need to go into PSP EMU. And inside of here you need to create a new folder and call this SE Plugins. When you create that, enter it and now transfer the game and your plugin files and just upload like so. And that's it. As you can see, you now have that available. That is your configuration file, and that is the plugin that it's pointing to. So this would be the first way of doing your transfer. The second way is going to be going through auto plugin, which I'm going to show you how to do that. It's much easier, but I want to show you both methods on this tutorial. So first of all, if you're not familiar with this program here, you are definitely sleeping on a awesome tool. So I'm going to recommend checking out my tutorial on how to install and set up auto plugin. But for this, all you need to do is open this up, wait a bit, and then come here and go to install remaster controls plugins from the flow and pick which one you want to install here. So for this, make sure that you are going to install it to UX0. It has to be on UX0 because that's where everything else is going to be. So select which one you want to use, which I'm going to use Grand Theft Auto Remastered, and it will say it has been installed and the game TXT file has been updated. Again, this is the much easier way of doing it, but it does require an extra application, which is why I did want to show both methods here. But once you have that done, all you need to do is exit out of this, go into Adrenaline, and start it up.
Once you boot up into the PSP's XMB, press the select button and go into recovery menu to make sure that this has been loaded. Once you come here, go into plugins. And as you can see, it shows all of these here, which actually this seems to install everything that is available. So it seems to set this up. But as you can see, I have everything here listed already, thanks to auto plugin. And you can pick either enabled or disabled just by pressing X. You want to keep it enabled though. This again is just to verify that you have your plugin showing here and enabled. If it shows that it has been enabled, just press back, go to exit. And now all you need to do is go to your memory stick and load up the game that you want to play. So mine's going to be Liberty City Stories. So admittedly, this part is going to kind of be hard to show you. You are going to have to more trust me on here that I am using the right analog stick. But at this point, go ahead and give it a shot. And at least right now, I'm able to control this with... Well, I mean, I'm a little bit wonky with my controls, but I'm able to load this up and really experience no issues here. And this has been great so far, at least. It definitely makes for a much easier utilizing experience. You know what? Let me pick another save that will be a bit better. So there we go. This one is another save that I downloaded years ago and had on here. All I need to do is go here. And this is where you get to have some fun if you have like a big chopper like this. So this is absolutely where it shines if you're going to be flying a vehicle such as this and check it out. You can easily manipulate the camera to your liking. That is if I can actually steer everything properly here. But yeah, that is it. So again, this is not a one size fits all thing. This is only available for the games if I stop bouncing everywhere, this is only available for the games that the Flow makes these patches for. So if you have any of these, all you need to do is follow the instructions, then boot up the game and have some fun like I am right here with this. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too. I'm going to play around with the camera a bit more.